We're back. What's going on, everyone? Hello. Welcome. Welcome. It is now time for episode three of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield brand new Crown Tundra expansion DLC. I am excited. So let's do a quick recap of what we've done so far. In episode one, we've done maybe two thirds of the Calyrex quest. Episode two, we finished off the Calyrex quest. We got ourselves a Spectrier and a Calyrex. And we went through and we caught ourselves an Articuno and a Zapdos. So for today's episode, live on YouTube, what we're going to do is we're going to go get Moltres. And then we're going to start working on the Regis and all of their little puzzles. Like, I'm really excited for it. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys didn't already, hit that subscribe button. Please do. It only takes one quick second. And you guys can see exactly what's going on over here. So, yes. If you guys didn't already, take a look. We are at 831 subscribers. Thank you so much for being there. Every single one of you guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching all the videos. Um, of course, we do indeed have all of our videos here too. So we've got parts three and parts four that are ready to go. You guys can feel free to hang out in the chat over there, do whatever you want. But this is our playlist that I want you guys to pay attention to. Um, we do have part one, in case you missed it. Part two, where we got ourselves a spec cheer and some legendary birds. And then part three, man, we're on it right now. So it's good to see you guys. Thanks so much. Hands up in the comments if you guys are going to be here all night and or all morning because it's currently 8, or wait, 135 in Chicago time. So let's do some work. Let's do some work. I'm very, very pumped up for this. I am so ready for it. I've got a new refill of my coffee from my little Pikachu cup as I showed you guys over here. Mmm, yummy. So no, I'm really excited. Let's go find ourselves a Moltres, yeah? Let's find a fire chicken. I'm ready, I'm ready. So if you guys have not already seen, in the um, in the game, you're going to have to find all the three birds. And the game kind of spells out exactly where the three birds are at. So that being said, let's head right over here. This is a centralized location. Let's go to Fields of Honor and see if we can find Moltres. And I don't know, is Moltres going to be flying around like Articuno? What's the gimmick? Okay, there's the gimmick. Uh, yeah, hello? Alright, let's quickly save. I don't think I healed my Pokemon. And that's gonna be sad, because, like, if my Pokemon are not healed, then... Oh, they're all... Ugh, they're not really all healed. Gallade, status... I mean... I should be okay. I don't necessarily... Hmm... I should have healed before I spawned in. Ah, uh, How many power points do I have for my moves? I got enough. I got enough hypnosis. I'm good. 15 should be more than enough. All right, let's go get this chicken. All right, so Articuno right over here. Flying? I mean, sorry, Moltres. Flying in the water. I'm curious of like what and why or how it's going to... Maybe it's just flying across the water here. The workout C. Going to get a workout. Oh, no. Cheap. I can't get over there. What a... Mm. What a mm, guy. Yeah, I can't get up here, too. Like, forbid the game to allow me to, like, go up a little ramp that's more than 15 degrees on a bike. Like, forbid that. Uh, but anyway, so I lost Moltres, and I ran over a bunny. Dang it. Dang. All right. Oh, wow, we have a wild Pokemon that appeared. Oh, my gosh, who's this? Who's this wild Pokemon? Do you guys know him? He's the rarest, most legendary Pokemon of all. He's got the most legendary booty that he likes to show off to you guys. He's like a ticklish booty over here. Who is this? You guys know this legendary Pokemon? Who are you, boy? Who are you? You know someone? Okay, so where the heck is Articuno? I mean, where's Moltres? Dude, Moltres just dipped. Moltres is like, I don't think so, so I'm out of here. This is Enzo. Say hello to Enzo, everyone. He's my boy. He says, Daddy baby, it's actually one in the morning, and you need to go to bed. He's like my little timer. He's my little timer. So, Mr. Enderman, you see him? Hi. Hi, baby man. Hi, baby man. Who's a baby man? Enderman baby man. Good boy. All right. Uh, well, Moltres didn't come over here, so let's go over to this little beach house and uh, see what's going on. 
ING? No, I don't really see him on this beach. I'll go to another spawn point and see if we can find him. Maybe he went to the towers, I don't know. Different tower. Hi, baby man. Hi, boy. Alright, so let's try this one. This one is the uh, Challenge Road Tower of Darkness. Uh-huh. Hi, baby man. Oh, oh, that's Skarmory. Dang! Dude, I lost him! Now's the time to actually get healed, though. So, like, we should do that. But I, I think I'm okay. I'll, I'll make it. Zapdos is way more fun than this Moltres. Like, you're crazy. He better not be in the forest, either. <sighs> Nasty. Alright, so how are you guys doing today? You guys having a great day so far? It's the brand new Crown Tundra DLC. Hands up in the comments if you guys have seen the previous two episodes. I hope that you have, because this is going to be a fun time. I don't know if Moltres is going to be in the caves, but, like, I'm kind of under the impression that Moltres is going to be flying around, right? Because that's kind of what Articuno did. And they seem to be, like, that's your... That's what you do, right? That's their animation. So, let's go take a look at, uh, hmm... Soothing Wetlands, Courageous Cavern. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try Fields of Honor again. And he's right over here. Okay, so... He... Ugh, Marini, dude. Guillermo, what's up? Came here to let you know that you're the reason life is hard. Okay, cool. Um, your life is hard now. Okay, girlfriend, lose. 813 wants a Mario live circuit and our two kids want it as well. Thank you. Well, I hope things get better and I hope that you are able to get one of the um, little Mario Kart games. Sure. Well, it's good to see you. Tell Luz 813 I said hello. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this dude off. Alright, he's gonna be flying across here. Which way though? Okay. Hi. Okay, so we're just going to follow it, and then it should land somewhere. It's going really fast. Ah! No thanks. I gotta play, like, dodging all these little Pokemon. Please don't make me go through the grass. Don't make me go over there. Where did you go? I don't think I- if I- if I fly to the beach... If I fly to the beach, I'm going to, uh, essentially lose him. Oh, he's flying around the tower! Oh my gosh, he's flying around the tower! Go! I think I just have to take this quest, like, all around the town. Okay, so he's flying around these islands here. He may have landed on one, I don't know. Something's going on over here. I don't see him anymore. Is that him? In the water? No. It's a Sharpedo, man. And a Gyarados. Where did it go? Dude, no way. So, here's my theory. And I'm going to test it out. Um, I'm thinking you start in Field of Honor and you just have to follow him. And if he goes off screen, then he despawns. I think that's my theory. Because I do not see him anywhere. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, th I mean, that's kind of the theory. That's exactly what's happening over here. So, I don't think there is an issue of cutting him off. It's just, hey, you have to follow him, and you have to be good at following him. Because if you don't keep a, an eye on him 100% of the time, he's going to get away from you. And that's not going to be good for you. Yeah, there's no way you can do anything. It's not like you can throw a rock at him. Four times super effective rock. Because <laughs> he's a flying and fire type, right? 
I don't know. I don't know what this Galarian Moltres is, honestly. It, it seems like a dark type of sorts. So like right here, I have to, I have to keep an eye on him. And at the same time, like go into this water. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Corviknight is just too big and he's taking up too much space. I kind of don't want him to follow me. Once he goes behind this rock, I might lose him. I don't want to lose him. Oh, that's where you went. Oh my gosh, that's where you went. Okay, where is that? All the way to that tree? That's where you... Oh my goodness. Didn't even realize there's a tree over there. Let's go. And there's a Sharpedo coming at me. At full speed. Okay, so you didn't even land at the tree. I think he's getting tired. It appears he is going slow. Maybe. Taking a tour around the entire Isle of Armor. Okay, so some of you guys are saying that um, you have to go in front of him somehow. Maybe. I'll give it a shot. It's just he goes so far. So if I know his path, then I could cut him off. And his path seems to be the same every time. So I'm just I'm just like taking um, I'm just taking a look at what his path is. Okay, so he's obviously going to go around that, right? So if I can cut him off here. Dude, Gyarados, leave! Gyarados, man, like, no one wants you. Put the coffee down, guy, go! Okay, so he's gonna he's gonna probably fly back anytime soon. So I'm just covering bases. Oh, the Sharpedo is annoying. Is there a way to get rid of these random encounters? I've never honestly used the repel in this brand new generation because I knew that I don't really have to worry about random spawns. I've never had to do that. How in the world did you do that? What a turd. Where's he going? Is he coming back? He's gotta be coming back. Okay. Alright, here we go. I don't think he's coming back. Loop Lagoon. Okay, so if it's a loop, then that means that he should be coming out this way. Come on, I'm so close. All right, so Loop Lagoon is where you can catch up to him. For sure, for sure. But you just have to know his pathway. So this is the workout scene, and we're back to kind of square one. All right, we're back to square one. We're gonna try. We're gonna try this again. So now that we kind of know its path, we're gonna do exactly this. Watch, fly right over here. Zapdos, his friend uh, Moltres, spawns right there. We're gonna go right this way. And then I need to know the path that it takes over this way. I don't know if it's like the left or right of this paddy field. There we go. Get out of here, you little bunny. There we go. Okay, super easy. Watch out for the bunnies. All right, let's get this wild Moltres. He looks really awesome, by the way. Uh, if he's dark type, that's gonna mean very bad news. 
for my Psychic Gallade. So let's do this. Uh, I'm thinking about camping right now. Who cares about camping? Let's go Light Scream. Sucker Punch, not happening, sorry. Sucker Punch is gonna hurt Gallade though. So I have to put up two of these things. <clears throat> let's put up the Reflect. And Fiery Wrath, whoa. Boom, what was that? All right, let's do a Brave Bird. Actually, you know, I could U-turn out. It's probably gonna be super effective, yeah? That's two Sucker Punches, right? You gotta keep count. There's only five. No, that wasn't anything. Ah, uh, oof. How am I gonna, Meowth? <clears throat> Are you alive? 82 Meowth? Uh, Silvala can do some work. Multi-attack, try attack Urshifu. Po I don't wanna poison him. I mean, Silvala, yeah, let's just go, whatever. Let's go multi-attack. It was a little strong. Hi, Benji. Benji, what just happened? We one-shotted that thing with multi-attack. Where's Honey? Heal my Pokemon. Which one of these trainers heals your Pokemon? Gramps? You healed my Pokemon. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Talk to the door and heal your own Pokemon, apparently. Thank you. Hi, Benji, baby. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. I know. It's past bedtime. But we gotta go find this chicken. We gotta find some Kentucky Fried Chicken, man. We just one-shotted it. So I think that using Meowth is probably our best bet. But um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to restart the game. I don't have to restart the game at all. And we know the pathway that Moltres takes. So this one's super easy. Benji. Hi. Hi, Benji. Alright, so Moltres should be coming over this way in a little bit. Hi, Benji. There we go. Okay, so you just have to kind of like ring your bell and then it like launches on you. It's fine. All right, so let's try this again. We got ourselves healed. He uses like a fiery wrath and he also uses sucker punch. So I got to get both screens up, unfortunately. So let's go light screen first. Sucker punch count is one. Remember, we have to count to five because we don't want any sucker punches happening because that's going to hurt a lot to Gallade. Even though I think it's I think it's neutral, right? It should be neutral against Gallade because Gallade is psychic and fighting and Dark is not really effective against fighting. What is this? Nasty plot? Holy moly. No, thanks. So a mixed attacker with sucker punch priority. Oh my gosh, I'm out of here, dude. I'm going to Brave Bird him. Fiery Wrath. Dude, that has to be a special attack. Oh my gosh, that's one third. Here's a big Brave Bird, no crit. Beautiful, that, that's good enough for Gallade to do a couple things. Berserk? What, every time you get hit by a physical attack you get a plus one? What is this? Nasty Plot, you're already at plus six, man. Like, that's plus four, plus the extra one, that's plus five. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, I'm done, man. Okay, like, Gallade doesn't honestly need to even do anything. <laughs> Besides Hypnosis. I am your man. All right, let's go. Let's go Hypnosis. I know I'm going to eat a hit. Oh, I'm so fast. What? No. 
That's not fair. Ah, uh, 40% health. Dang, dude. Yo, I got wide lens on hypnosis. Get out of here. I'm missing it all the time. All right. I'm going to do a false swipe. I just have to. Because, like, you want the best odds possible. So I'm not going to risk it. It's honestly a one little baby hit. So now remember, we're doing the Premier Ball Challenge, meaning we are not gonna throw a Quick Ball, we're not gonna throw a Master Ball, Ultra Ball, none of that nonsense, no, challenge. Anyway, so with that being said, if you guys are members, you have the brand new Premier Ball emoji. Kinda new, but anyway. Let's go, Premier Ball is in the chat. One, two, three, so easy. Yeah! Wow, that would've been good. Fire Your Wrath is gonna do 40% damage. I'm gonna Hypnosis, and then I'm going to Heal. And Light Screen's off right now, so anything goes. Almost had it first time, first turn, man. It was really good. All right, let's heal up. I'll use a Max Potion, and then hopefully he doesn't get a first turn wake. And the Reflect is off. Okay, great. So, it doesn't matter right now if he uses Sucker Punch. Like, I'm fine. Because Sucker Punch will do an attack, and, like, I'm not attacking anyone, right? But, knowing full well that when my Light Screen and Reflect were up, I took 40% off of one of those hits. So now, whenever he hits me with it, it's going to be, like, 80%. So I can't... I can't afford it. So I got to get these premieres, like, in and be done with it. One. Oh my gosh. That's the second one. You have Hurricane? I'm dead. 100% dead. I didn't realize you had Hurricane on your set. That's the moveset reveal right there. Wow, Hurricane, man. This is not looking hot for me, man. I don't need the Reflect up at all. No, you got Nasty Plot, Dark Move, Sucker Punch, Hurricane. No, you just need the Reflect. I mean, you just need the Light Screen, so we're good. And now you're at plus six, so I can't afford that. Oh, I should I'm sorry, I did it wrong. I should have revived and then done the Light Screen, so I, I burnt a turn. Burnt a turn of Light Screen right now, that's unfortunate. Okay, um, I'm running out of these max revives. Guys, can you remind me? Max revives are pretty rare in the game. Historically, they've always been. In this game, can you somehow buy more? Or is that just a, a finite amount within the game? And Corviknight's down too. I need another fodder right now. That's terrible. Can you like... Throw some ingredients into that, like, that little bird thing and then, like, pop out. Like a max revive. I don't know, but, like, typically in the Pokemon games, like, it's the it's the rarest item. And you cannot, like, buy anymore. You only get a finite amount of them, but... Could be from raids. Yeah, yeah, you can get them from raids. Alright, I think we're good. This is going to be my, like, third or fourth attempt at a, at a Premier Ball, so we should be all set. I got 56 of them. We got all day. But I do want to start getting the Reggies, so this will be great. Premier Ball's in the chat. I'm really afraid of his Hurricane. His Hurricane will destroy me. And then I'm going to need to bring in another Pokemon to Max Revive my bird. Max Revive this guy. There's a lot of turns i got to burn. Two. Oh my gosh, no way. Come on. Yes! Oh, thank you! Oh my gosh, yes! Ha, <laughs> nice! Alright, we are wonderful, wonderful. Cheers, mates! Let's go! Mmm. A very hard battle, but we did it. What was that? In like 20 minutes? That's not too bad. Yo, this design is amazing. Dark and flying. Okay, so like Eveltal, kind of like Honchkrow. Uh, the Pokemon Sinister Flame-like Aura will consume the spirit of any creature it hits. Victims become burnt-out shadows of themselves. What? 
Victims become burnt out shadows of themselves? What does that even mean? Ghosts? All right, thank you. You caught Moltres, one of the legendary bird Pokemon from the clue. You jotted down the current status on legendary clue three. All right, so we got all three of them. Better report back to Chief Peony. I'm coming, Peony. All right, let's go. Dude, I'm going to go fly over to Peony, and then we're going to go talk. Uh, we're going to go show you guys exactly what the um, what the Pokedex shows. And, like, we're just going to analyze this Pokemon and see how cool this Moltres is. I'm honestly glad. I'm honestly glad that this Pokemon doesn't share the same um, typing as like a fire flying. Like, why would you want two of the same things? Like, this is completely different. So very, very Eveltal. Like, very, I'm like, that's exactly what I'm kind of thinking here with that. Uh, Bruce, what's up, Bruce? Hey, thank you so much. And by the way, if you guys become a member, we, uh, we absolutely are working towards the goal of 850. Thank you so much for that. And then you have access to all the emoji and members only game nights and a whole bunch of fun stuff. So make sure you come on board. Thank you. Let's get a little member train going, right, Bruce? Let's do it. So I've got three guaranteed IVs, speed, special defense, defense, and he's got this berserk ability that I'm very curious about. So let's take a look. This one's going to be, uh, let's take a look here. Berserk. Boost the Pokemon special attack when it takes a hit that causes its HP to become half or less. Boost a Pokemon special attack. That's pretty interesting. So like, can you use Citrus Berry on this thing? Or what if you did like a Roost Stall set, right? If it has the ability Roost, you can get hit under 50%, get your speed, your special attack up, and then you Roost all the way back up, and then you just kind of like Roost Stall until you like passively get hit, and then you're already at plus six, and then you just proceed to sweep with your Dark Move. Or maybe a Citrus Berry might do that. I don't know. Hypothetical. Just theory mining. That seems pretty cool. I'd want to try it, to be honest. Like, you want you run a really bulky set. You go, like, 252, um, 252 HP, and maybe, like, 252... Or maybe split defenses? Probably do split defenses. Or maybe just all in speed. Something like that. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Uh, so, Fiery Wrath over here. This is, the user transforms into a wrath and uh, forms its wrath into a fire-like aura to attack. This may also make an opposing Pokemon flinch. So, you do want max speed. So that you have the ability to go first. And then Hurricane, Sucker Punch, Nasty Plot is all the things. Like, honestly, Nasty Plot is a little redundant with your ability, but whatever. That was kind of cool. Um, and then Naughty by Nature. Okay, that's great. So Naughty by Nature is uh, is good, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So it can run a mixed attacking set. I'm very excited about all three of these birds. Like, they're very, very cool. And they're different. And I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of competitive aspects they have. So... Let me know in the comments which out of these three birds is your absolute favorite. Can't wait to hear about it in the comments below. So anyway, let's jump on in. Let's talk to uh, Peony and see what he's got to say. We caught all three legendary birds. Sup, dude? Anything to report? I got the birds, man. Articuno, done. Wait, you caught Articuno from the legends? That's ultra mega brilliant. Report away. Hmm, so that's Articuno, is it? The legendary Pokemon that can manipulate ice. I definitely see the resemblance, but it's got this dodgy mask on and everything, and it hardly seems cold at all, does it? Oh well, it's got one ultra mega icy gaze. That's Articuno enough for me anyway. Let's call this expedition a success. Anything else? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I got myself a Zapdos. Let's do it. You really caught Zapdos from the Legends. Uh, that's ultra mega brilliant. Report away. Huh, so this is, uh, that's Zapdos, is it? The legendary Pokemon that can cause thunderstorms. I definitely see the resemblance, but those legs look thicker than I expected. That's not exactly electrifying, is it? Oh well, it's as, uh, it's as spiky and as long-beaked as I hoped for. That's Zapdos enough for me, I suppose. Let's mark this expedition complete. And then, ladies and gents, we do have the Moltres one, and that will be our last one. Wait, you really caught Moltres? That's Ultra Mega Brilliant, report away. Huh, so that's Moltres, is it? The legendary Pokemon that's the embodiment of fire. I definitely see the resemblance, but it's not at all hot to the touch. It kind of looks like it, it'd be more at home with the punks in Spike Mooth than in a volcano, doesn't it? It's Galarian. It's different. All right, cool. Looks like you've reported all there is to report in the legendary Clue 3 and the legendary bird. Smashing, I'll mark this expedition done. Hey, there we go. Ksing. All right. 
Excellent, excellent. Round of applause emojis. We did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Super easy. Got anything else uh, legendary you want to talk about? Yeah, let's talk about these giants. Like, let's go, let's go figure out what's happening with these giants. Which one's giving you trouble? I don't know. Like, rock is going to be Everstone, right? Uh, so it says, uh, let the first Pokemon hold and never change in stone, eh? Why don't you try having your Ultra Mega Lead Pokemon hold onto a stone or whatever it is? Like, we've, we know it's an Everstone for sure. Um, let's just get, kind of get some clues over here so we can have a head start. And then we'll just go out there and try to catch all these Regis. All right, so there's a legendary giant uh, that is uh, potentially a giant of ice. I haven't seen it yet, but we'll find it. Okay, all these giants are sleeping in ruins, so you have to find those ruins before you can do anything. Try to track down the build and I drew for you. So since I haven't seen it, he's not going to give me a hint. Which is interesting, sure. Uh, so I think I've seen the rock one, and I think I've seen the steel one. It says, let out a ring uh, of the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel, doesn't it? I suppose giant or no, a Pokemon's a Pokemon. If you make a sound that brings a Pokemon running, maybe the door will open up to you. So that's going to be either whistling or using your little bell on your um, your little bike. So that should be relatively easy. I think we go hit up Registeel right now, but I also need to be healed. So does Peony heal my Pokemon? Or maybe my room does? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just restore my Pokemon in the room. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So let's go hit up the first one, which is like right by the giant seat. I think I can fly over to it. If I can't, then I'll just ride my bike. It's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, right over here. Giant's bed. Giant's bed, not a giant seat. All right. So here we go. This is it. The giant's bed. We're here with Corviknight, and I'm going to whistle. Wow, very hard puzzle. Ooh. No, I'm just Oh my gosh. The Iron Ruins. All right, we're going to do a little save just in case. Hello. Hi. Oh, the huge Pokemon statue is looking down on you. One. Something changed in the air. All right. So no hints. I will. Uh, I will figure this out. Don't worry. Uh, if YouTube's being a little weird, just make sure that you re reset. A steely power is emanating from the Pokemon statue. Do you want to check it out? Yeah. G G Z G Zo. All right. Was that supposed to be hard? You just light up all the dots. I'm sorry. Weird, but sure. Anyway, we're gonna do the Premier Ball challenge. Let's knock this out. Registeel, let's go. -y. So, Link Mountaineer, can you elaborate on that? It's the puzzle from Platinum. Can you tell me more? Charge Beam. Ooh, I thought you were going to do Iron Head, man. I honestly don't know what I did to open it. I just lit up the lights, and then I went and examined the statue. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm gonna go to Gallade, because I could do a close combat. Or I need someone stronger, like a Brick Break from Urshifu should be good. I think it's gonna be way too strong. Meowth? Meowth can do a Payday. I could do some Shadow Claws. I think I'm gonna bring out Urshifu. One Brick Break should... I don't think I'm going to KO him. I don't want to do a Brick Break. I'm going to do a Sucker Punch. 
Oh my, he's strong. He's got a big defense. All right, Urshifu should be good, but like he's getting to plus six right now with his charge beam, and that's very bulky. I don't think he has, oh, he has one setup move, doesn't he? I'm gonna do one more. Maybe that's a little too risky. No, I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll risk it. Stop, oh my gosh, woo! Look at that, min-max damage is looking good for me. All right, so I honestly need to switch back to my Corviknight because my screens are now done. So let me go back, Pokemon. Uh, let's go Corvi Knight, and then my screens are done. I should be able to put up a Flash Cannon is special, Charge Beam is special, and what are his other moves? Iron Defense, that's fine. Like Iron, do that all day. Like get to plus six, you're good. We're gonna Premier Ball you in a little bit. I'm. I really just can light screen. I mean, sure, it's gonna fail. Like, that's fine. I'm just trying to burn a turn right now. And the light, reflect? Oh, I did reflect first, dang. Uh, I mean, I guess I can do another reflect in case he wants to do another iron head. I'm just redoing the screens, this is fun. Whew. Heavy, oh, dang, you have a lot of moves. Heavy slam? Iron Head, Iron Defense, Charge Beam, Flash Cannon, you have five moves. Excuse me, hold on. Am I missing something? Die? No, I'm not dying. No, he doesn't have Iron Head. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought he did. I'm thinking like Pokemon Go out here, so sorry. <laughs> All right, let's hit this. All right, so the Premier Ball Challenge starts now. Let's go. Iron defense, go for it, you iron giant. Oh, I'm ready. Come on, big boy. I got to do one, maybe two false swipes. At least one. Yeah, yeah, we're good. I probably did one damage, but that's fine. That's what I needed. Flash Cannon is a special move, which does a good 30% damage. Whatever. We got Hypnosis out here, and we got a whole bag full of Premier Balls, baby. The Premier Ball Challenge. Y'all ready for this? Okay, here we go. I'm going to Premier Ball it up. 53 of them? Let's go. Some Premier Ball hype in the chat. We need this in our lives, because we need to move on to the next clown. Wow! He's not hard. Okay, yeah, I'm fine. Although, this plus six is really gonna start hurting in a little bit. Premier ball, premier ball, right, Ashley? You got it. You know what's up. Yeah, lights out, Reggie Steel. Lights out, baby. Get out of here. All right, get in the ball, Nebby. One. Oh my gosh, you Reggie, dude. Wake up. Heavy slam. Ooh. Boom. How much health is that? Oh, mama mia. You got a crit through. Oh my gosh. And my reflect is gone. Great. All right. So we got this loop going on now, right? Oh no. What? Miss. No. Get out of here. That's a waste. That's some mama mia right there. Yikes, yikes, yikes. And my light screen's gone. You know, that's fine. So now that my screens are gone, I can bring out Corviknight. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I can do this. I can do this, hold on, check this out, watch this. We're gonna bring out Fodder. I'll bring out my cat. He's cute, he does work. Uh, so what we need to do is I need to get all my Pokemon back now. So now we're in this like, this little loop here where my Pokemon are down. Whatever, I'll use a max revive. I'll take a hit. I'll use like a max potion. And then I'm like ready to go again. Like it's just kind of spinning my wheels a little bit here. But like that's what I gotta do. Like you gotta do what you gotta do. And I have to somehow find more potions, right? Like I need to buy that stuff. So now this is interesting because like I, I was expecting Meowth to actually eat two heavy slams. 
And that's not the case. He's been doing iron defense. And I'm sure iron defense has like 20 or 30 power points. So... We'll see what happens. I kind of want to do a reflect up first. And then I kind of want to do a light screen. Because like he's actually a mixed attacker, believe it or not. Like his charge beam has probably given him plus 6 right now. So like I'm not going to risk just using one of the screens. Like we're going to do light screen because we want to be safe. And Gallade is kind of squishy. So we can't risk that. So we got dual screens over here. He's using... Did he run out of power points? Like what is going on? If that's the case, that's amazing. And then we could just start lobbing these balls until he struggles to death. Okay. Meowth is indeed very intimidating. You watch out. Watch out. Like, he goes gigantic. He goes gigantic. And then, like, he'll take all of your money. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Here we go. Premier Balls in the chat. We need your luck. Let's go. If you're a member, you have access to the Premier Ball emoji. Let's do it. I need it right now. None. Let's try it again. Let's try it again, Premier Ball members. Let's go. What do you got? Talk to me. Tell me your name. One. Oh my gosh. That's zero shakes, dude. But he seems to not be wanting to attack. Like, he doesn't want to do this. Mr. Anime Bar, what's up, man? I hope you reach a million views again, like three years ago. I don't remember what I did three years ago. Please remind me, Mr. Anime Bar. What did I do three? <laughs> what did I do three years ago? Play Pokemon Sun and Moon? I don't know. One, two. Whoa. At least he's sleeping. Come on, Bay, comma, B. Let's go. Get in here. One. Two. Three. Now? Now? Oh, come on. Mmm, this close. Alright, now? Now? We got it? I want to move on to the next one? Um, yeah. So he's still asleep. This is like a four-turn sleep. It's insane. Yo, we just shut down this thing. We did like a little control-alt-delete over here. And Heavy Slam. I knew it. This is going to be tremendous damage. 40%. That's not tremendous. No, no, no. I thought it would be way stronger. Yo, we did a little bit of Alt F4 on this guy. Stop! I'm on like 1 HP out here. I need to heal because I can't afford any more... I can't afford any more of these like max revives. If we're going to get all these things... Like, I need them. Look at that. I survived on 8... Or, sorry, 5 HP. How in the world did I survive on 5? That's good. That's min-max damage at its best. Reggie! Dude, I need, like, a crit capture. Like... Flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist, man. How many Premier Balls is this? Nope. Dude! Charge Beam. I'll take one. How much? Ah, 30%. Not bad. I don't think Charge Beam has the ability to uh, paralyze either, which is pretty good. Hold B like back in the day. Nah, you're kidding, right? That was a sarcastic comment. Please tell me. <laughs> uh, you know, you can admit. You can admit when you were a kid and you played Pokemon, you would like press the B button at a certain time. They're like, and then you'd catch it and you're like, oh my gosh, that worked. Right? <laughs> you know, hands up in the comments if you believe that when you were a kid. Or if you still believe that. You know that's not a thing, right? You 100% know that's not a thing programmed in the actual game mechanics, right? Like, please, let's let's clear the air right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on! Oh my goodness. 
big heavy slam. How much? I can take another hit. Whatever it is, I can take it. It was tapping A for all of us back in the red and blue days. Yeah, tapping the A and B button. That's what I would do. Like, I would, as soon as the ball would, like, pop, I would press and hold the A, a and the B button. Like, there was just so many dumb things that, you know, stupid kids would just say at school. Like, oh, you know the trick about catching the Pokemon, right? Like, you gotta press, like, A and B. And you gotta keep on pressing the A button, right? No, kids. Come on. Thank you. What's up, Mr. Anime? Thank you. All right, anyway, <laughs> so good. Hey guys, I'm playing with my controller upside down and that's how I caught him, so that's how it works. No, son, it's algorithms and odds and capture rates and HP and status conditions and there's a whole algorithm that you have to jump through in order to make it happen, so. Anyway, we got ourselves a Registeel with the Premier Ball Challenge, baby. Let's go -y. Iron Pokemon. Registeel's body is made of a strange material that is flexible enough to stretch and shrink, but is also more durable than any metal. Whoa, stretch and shrink of metal? That's interesting. It must be some sort of alien. Well, there's Registeel. Like, he's really nothing special. You jotted down the current status of that. Okay, so far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant stone sleeps. The temple doors are the strange words. Let the... Uh, Okay, no, we did this one. Oh, here we go. Let ring out the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. When I whistled before the door, it opened and I found Registeel. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Peony here. Uh, haven't hurt yourself or anything, have you? Come again? You met the steel giant Registeel? Huh, smash and work, chief. Now, take that energy and go get the others. Keep up the good work. Okay, I mean, that's one of them. That's not bad. So let's take a look at our legends that we've got so far. I need to go heal too. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this Reggie Steel and I will move him to the bottom here because like I wanna just do that. Uh, we've got a best, best, best. So it's a guaranteed three IV. He's clear body. Like this is a Pokemon that we've seen before. Not in this game, but like in his previous generations. And Reggie Steel is an amazing competitive Pokemon. He has a mono typing of Steel, which is very good defensive wise. Uh, he's got a, a bunch of resistances. He's really great. Um, he's very bulky with Charge Beam. And there we have it. Very awesome. I love this guy. All right, anyway, let's do it. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Anime. Yo, dude, become a member, man. What you doing with these super chats? Let's go. <laughs> let's get him on board. All right, so super easy. I don't think I had to do anything other than like jump on those little lights and then talk to the statue in the middle. That was it. Weird, but okay. All right, so let's go fly to the next spot and see what's happening. Fly to the next spot was over here, the giant's bed. Uh, I'm gonna take this, but I kinda wanna heal. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go heal really quick. Here's another place. We can easily fly to it, so there's really no sense in me not healing. So I'm gonna go all the way back to camp. I should be set with going into Peony over here and then going. So, like, again, about about what I was talking about. Like, pressing the A button while you're, like, capturing a Pokemon doesn't do anything. Like, you know that. And if you don't know that, now you know that. <laughs> but I do it anyway. All right, what's your rational mind thinking about that? Like, what do you... <laughs> but I do it anyway. Okay. Cool, man. Good luck. All right, here we go. So this one is going to be equipping a Pokemon... That's in your first spot with an, uh, an item called an Everstone, and I'm sure I have one floating around somewhere. So let's do this. I'm going to press this. We're going to swap. I'm going to do Everstone on Urshifu. Uh, held item is going to be open up your bag. Uh, Everstone, Everstone. Other items here. I'm going to look to see if I have another one. Eviolite. Eviolite, uh, I don't know. Oh, I do. I have five of them. Cool. So we're going to grab an Everstone. We're going to give it to a Pokemon. And now he's holding it. Okay, so now he's holding that. And I should click on this door. Oh, something's written on the door. Let the first Pokemon hold a never-changing stone. And Urshifu is holding the stone, so the door opened up. Great. Okay, so now I'm curious as to what the deal with this is. Let's go Corviknight. We're going to uh, swap right over here. Corviknight's going to always be my lead. So I'm just going to light these things up. I don't think there's any pattern. You light them all up. 
there's something weird in the air, that, that thing opens up, something changed, and then I just go talk to the statue and he comes out. Yeah, let's go. Za za zari za. Okay. So like, you just light them up. I don't know, man. It's... I kind of wanted a puzzle, like not gonna lie, I think that's lazy. Sure, a puzzle to enter is great. Like, I'm down for that. I'm 100% down for that. But like, I wanted some sort of puzzle on the inside. Is that too much to ask? No, I did not save beforehand. You know why? Because I'm confident. I wish I had Roost. Curse! Ooh, that's good. I think Meowth can come over here and do some work. I think Meowth can come in and do some, like, Shadow Claw work. Um, I can do even more Brave Birds. Like, this is fine. I mean, or I could just U-turn out. Let me just, let me just Brave Bird a little bit more. I know it's not very effective, but that's the whole point. Wow, that's really not... I mean, his curse is just, like, really... Wow, he's going all in on curse. And that's gonna be pretty scary, to be honest. But, like, I can continue Brave Birding. I can continue healing. Or I can use a special attacker. I mean, there's there's a lot of things that I can do. My health is at fine. My health is fine. Like, I'm just going to keep on Brave Birding. I just don't want a crit to happen. If a crit happens, then that's going to be bad news. So he should be at, like, 50% now. I'm not taking a lot of recoil damage, but he's got Hammer Arm, which is fighting. That's neutral. I have Reflect on, so I'm taking this damage, like, really easily. And his speed is going to be falling, so that's fine. Like, I'm just going to keep on proceeding to Brave Bird. And then once we get to a point where I'm comfortable, I'm going to put up the Reflect one more time. I'll put up the Reflect one more time. You turn out. Stone Edge is neutral. Yeah, I'll U-turn out and then switch to Gallade and then can proceed to win. So, like, the thing that's going to hurt me the most right now is if I get a crit. And I don't want that to happen. I think I could do one more. I can get away with one more. Superpower is neutral. I want to see how much that does, though. I mean, it's good. So Reflect should be going off right now. After this next turn. So that's, that, it works out perfect. So here we go. This was a fifth. Should be good. Oh, look at that. Ooh. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Mamma mia. Min max damage is good to me today. Wow, that has to be one HP, but I'm going to still use a little false swipage, so don't even worry. I can't U-turn out now, which is kind of interesting, but that's okay. Like, this is really good. I'm at some pretty low health. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bag. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to hyper. Yeah, I could hyper. I could hyper all the way up until my reflect goes off. Yo, that was awesome. Ooh, man. All right. Here's a curse. Whatever. You can curse whatever you want, man. You're just going to boost your defense. You're going to boost your attack. But I'm still going to have the reflect, which will make me a little bit stronger. And hammer arm is not going to hurt me. Now the Reflect's off, which is perfect, so good timing. I'm just gonna go Reflect, hard switch over to Gallade, proceed to Hypnosis, and then we Premier Ball the heck out of him because we are taking the Premier Ball challenge, baby. It's a great time. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, this is fine, this is absolutely fine. Okay, here we go, hard switch. Hard switch to Gallade. Corviknight is really an MVP, K. A hundred percent. Corviknight with the dual screens is so good. Very bulky, very good typing, and just overall does the work. So here we go. Now I'm going to do a Hypnosis. I'll proceed to do one single False Swipe, because if he's at like 3 HP right now, remember the... Ooh, Stone Edge miss. Dude, you can't hit a Stone Edge. Oh my gosh, that's strong. Anyway, so remember, we're talking about algorithms and oh my gosh, and capture rates. So uh, there's some sort of algorithm that's like an equation that's like how much HP does the enemy Pokemon have 
times its capture rate, times like what ball you do, times this, times that, or the other. So you want it to be the lowest possible. Three in the row. Three in a row I missed. Excuse me? So even if it looks like it's one HP, it may be like two, it may be three, and that will affect your odds. So you definitely want to play the odds on that. Dude, I missed three hypnosises in a row. Anyway, come on, Reggie. My body is Reggie. Let's go. Reggie, rock. Get rocked. All right, so here we go. We're asleep. We are going to be doing a fight. I will do a false swipe just to ensure. I don't even care. I'll burn a turn. Maybe I did one damage. Whatever. We're set. I don't know why streams like being all disconnecty, so forgive me on that one. Um, okay, here we go. Just sleeping on him. Dude, he's not happening. He's a he's a rock in a hard place, man. But he's sleeping, so we're good. Did I not heal? I didn't heal. Oh, I got wrecked by the. Uh... Whatever, whatever, whatever. Here, take my, um, take my meow. I got distracted by the little lag spike of YouTube. I'm not gonna use a max revive. I'm just gonna use a regular one and burn two turns. I was not expecting that. So I got distracted. I was gonna heal myself, like, full aware, but... <laughs> my cat! Oh my gosh, that was a one hit? You're insane. Dude, what in the actual world? He's so strong. He's at plus six on his attack right now, so of course that's gonna do damage. <laughs> Reggie Rock bonked my cat. I know he did. With two of his hands, like double overhand. Stop. I have a half health Gallade that can take it. Okay, I'm just gonna chill on this until this thing is ready. Okay, yeah, hey, sorry, we're back. I don't know what's going on, but we gotta get it figured out. So just bear with me. If there's anything going on with the uh, with the stream, just refresh, thanks. Okay, here we go, back to work. Uh, how much health do I have? I got half health Gallade. We're gonna fight, I'm gonna do Hypnosis, and we're gonna proceed to continue. Did I miss the did I miss the hypnosis? What's the deal? Come on, Reggie. Premier ball. I'm done with this. Dude, he's not happening, man. Did I forget to heal? I forgot to heal because of a lag spike. I swear. I'm not even paying attention to that. All right, let's just go. Silvali, you, ugh. All these guys are weak against his hammer arm. I might lose this one. I don't know how many power points Hammer Arm has. Probably 10. Huh? 
Reggie is ready for the long run, Jeremy. I agree. He's completely like, I'm staying here, right? Like, you're not gonna do anything to me. I just gotta burn all his hammer arms so he just keeps on cursing. And it kind of doesn't help that I'm, like, covering up my HP over here. Like, I gotta constantly, like, swap out my webcam. So... Okay, so I'm gonna hard switch over to Gallade one more time, and then we're gonna proceed to keep on going, man. Like, that's just what it has to be right now. I have to keep going. Yeah, his stats won't go up any higher. Like, he's already maxed out on lowest speed. He's maxed out on highest defense and highest attack. Like, he's very, very in. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm ready for even more Premier Balls. Let's do it. Don't fail me now. Struggle! Boom! Wow! He's gone! See ya! Ooh, we got him to struggle KO himself. Oh, man. Mama, mama, mia, mama, mia, na, 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 na. I said, I didn't save because I'm confident. It's alright. Regirock stopped moving again. Alright, well, if I want to do it again, then I just go over here, uh, and I get out of here. I go heal myself. And I just jump in again, man. Like, it doesn't matter. It's not like the old school where you only have one shot at a legendary. Nah, man. You get infinite shots, and that's great. Oh, we got him to struggle, though. If that makes any sense, that's pretty great. That was pretty great. That was, um, that was definitely something. We're going to uh, restore my Pokemon. And then I'm going to fly right back over there. We're going to do Reggie round two. Wow. So can you guys confirm the power points on Superpower? Uh, I'm sorry, Hammer Arm? 15? 10? I guess we got to kind of count it, right? We got we to gotta see what's up. Reggie owned me, man. But I need I need to I need to do something. Like the Brave Birds were good, but uh I think I'm going to I'm gonna do Corviknight for sure. I'm gonna do Corviknight to get up the reflect. I'm gonna U-turn out, and then I need someone to just pound him. I just need to pound the letter H off of his eyeballs. Brought to you by the letter H. Or is that the letter N? I don't know. Could be both. Hammer arms 10. Okay, cool. So we got that. All right. I'm just going to... We're going to reflect up. I'm going to U-turn out. And then we're just going to beat him to a pulp. I think I can get him with uh, Gallade. Gallade has close combat. I don't think that close combat's gonna get a KO. Okay, so I'm gonna U turn out. I'm not gonna be out here doing, like, brave birds until he chips out. Ooh, no, that might be a little much. I don't have a, fight, a psychic move? Uh, false white hypnosis. I have psycho cut. I think I could do a couple psycho cuts. Because if I do a close combat, it's not going to be pretty. Close combat is one of the strongest fighting moves in the game. And that same type attack bonus. And it's super effective. I think it's mine. Yeah, we're all set. He's just doing garbage moves now. So no, we're set. We're set. I just need to do some work here. So let me put him asleep for a little bit. I got 20 hypnosises. And I'm going to miss the first one. Beautiful. Superpower is fine. It's strong, but it's not very effective. Uh, so I'm good. Keep on doing that. There we go. I'm gonna do a, a couple Psycho Cuts, and I should be set. He didn't really do too many curses already, so I think it should be able to do that amount of damage. So here we go, round two, buddy. Psycho Cut is same type attack bonus, so 50% more damage. And... Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! That was a crit, man! No, no! 
Hey, come on, guy. No, absolutely not. I guess Psycho Cut naturally crits, doesn't it? Brought to you by the letter N. Dude! At least I could fight him as many times as I want, right? I need a move that's gonna knock this guy out. That's probably special. My entire team's physical, I've noticed. Alright, Reggie. Come on, man. Let's go. Starting off with Reflect. Easy, right? Okay, first turn. I kind of want him to boost his defense so I can do some work. Mmm, yummy. Alright, let's go. Back to me. I'm gonna do another Psycho Cut. Or maybe Meowth comes out here and does some work? I mean, we're literally all physical on this team here. We could do... I'll do Silvali, like whatever. It's these moves for Silvali are normal type, so they're gonna do half damage. I should be able to just do some other stuff. So Hammer Arm's gonna be super effective. Like that's gonna or maybe not. <sighs> My gosh, this guy's annoying. Let's do multi attack. How much? That is a lot. I kind of want him to do a curse because I don't think that min max will allow me to... I'm gonna do it. I have to. I'm gonna knock him out. Min max is gonna knock him out! <laughs> alright, alright. Look, 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 guys. Look, look, look. I'm gonna switch up my strat. He's he's obviously too weak, right? He's very weak. If he doesn't start using curse, I was I was gonna say like I should wait one more curse, right? Like min max was a little much on that one. I probably got a max roll. Come on, Reggie. Why you gotta be so hard? Alright, let's get the Reflect up. I'm not going to. Here's what I'm not going to do. I am not going to U-turn out. Right? U-turning out takes away like 20% of his health. And he's got a curse right now. That's beautiful. Beautiful first turn. So now that boosts his defense one stage up. Which is good. And now I can switch over to Gallade and do a Psycho Cut. I'm good now. I'm good now. Alright, one Psycho Cut. Actually, one Hypnosis. Wait, wait, wait. That's how the letter R is written in Braille? Is that right? No way. Tell me more. Tell me more. Alright, one Psycho Cut. Right through him. Shooting lasers. Pew, pew, pew. Regirock has Sturdy. You can Psycho Cut? Hold on. Or sorry, you can... You can Close Combat? He has Sturdy? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. If that's the case, then... Oh my gosh, I could change up my strat right away. One more. Don't crit. Yeah, we're good. Stop! Dude! Crit on the last one! Stop! Hey, I'm actually just shiny hunting Reggie Rock right now, so, like, that's what it is. Like, whatever. Ugh! Dude, a crit on the last one, you're actually insane. 
so annoying. I'm going to close combat him and burn him down. I'm so done with him. He has clear body and not sturdy? I don't know. You tell me. Do we look it up? Is that just a random comment? The comment never lies. So I don't know what you're talking about. No, crits are not based off of health bar. No, no, crits is just odds, dude. No, no, no. Oh, man. All right, thank you. Okay. I'm just gonna see what a stock close combat does. Um, <clears throat> a stock. Okay, so sturdy is his hidden ability. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna do that. All right, let's do this. I'm just gonna do a stock close combat. If it KOs him, then I know. See ya. I knew it. <laughs> Yo, give me this shiny Regirog. That's what we're actually doing here. Oh my goodness. Come on, man. What an actual guy. Shiny Red Rock, go. Oh my gosh, he's shiny. <sighs> no. Trust me, I don't need any I don't need any backseat gaming comments on this. Like I'm fine. I know how to catch Pokemon. If you've been paying any attention to what we've been doing for the last four hours, you guys know I know what I'm doing here. So, just chill. Thank you. Just chill. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Sit back, enjoy the ride. This is gonna take some time. Alright, here we go. Cursing up. This is good. So, I mean, he's got one curse up. I could do a close combat and maybe survive it. I don't know. Just saying. Uh, I don't think I'm going to, but I'll do this instead. It is indeed Sniper Hunter, the Premier Ball Challenge. Excellent, excellent observation. Thank you. Spread the word. We are not throwing a Master Ball. We are not throwing a Quick Ball or an Ultra Ball or a Dusk Ball. We are doing a Premier Ball. And of course, Psycho Cut should be like a four hit, maybe a five hitter. And then I'll start false swiping to fine tune exactly what kind of damage I need to do. You're not gonna start false swiping right now. It makes absolutely zero sense. So that being said, you keep on doing this. That's that's right at halfway. If I get one crit right now, then I'll be into the red. And now I can do one more psycho cut. Just based off of min max damage. I know I can. I but if it's a crit, then I'm done. So there's a, he's gonna land right in red. One HP. Or exactly that. Perfect, perfect. We're good. What's my HP at? Uh, about 40%. We're good. So, I was really focused on getting his HP down like that, instead of actually putting him asleep. So, I took damage that I should not have been taking. Um, so, obviously, order of operations is really key to that. So, now I think I'm going to have to do maybe two false swipes. We'll get him to one HP, and then we'll proceed to Premier Ball. We should be all set. And Reflect is off, too. So, that's also very, very testing for me. Two false swipes? Uh, yeah, maybe three. Yeah, legit, maybe three. One more. Okay, now we have officially gotten him down 
to 1 HP. He's gonna wake up, proceed to super power, which is not very effective. And that's very strong. So what I need to do right now is I need to... I need to put him asleep, heal up, and then proceed to start throwing some uh, Premier Balls at him. This is perfect. Okay, we are in the absolute situation that we want to be in. So, this is the best odds possible in the game in order to get him in a Premier Ball. Let's go. I've wasted too much time on this clown. And max potions are, like, very, very rare for me, and I don't have money for them. Like, this is costing me a lot of in-game currency here. All right, max potion up, full health. I can err on the safe side if I really wanted to and switch over to um, Corviknight and put up the screens and switch back. I could do that, but, like, I have a feeling that we can do this with Premier Balls. Like, let's go. One, two, three, four! Yes! Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Yo, first Premier Ball, baby! Oh, man. Yo, I'm so happy. Thank you. Reggie Rock is a little punk. Get owned, son. Whew. Ooh, flawless. Flawless performance on that one. Whittling down his HP. Fine-tuning. Beautiful. Shiny Reggie Rock. I'm just kidding. He's not shiny. Um, but anyway, Rock Peak Pokemon. Every bit of Regirock's body is made of stone. As parts of its body erode, this Pokemon sticks rocks to itself to repair what's been lost. Ooh, man. Brought to you by the letter N, or letter H, or letter R. We got him. Okay, let the first Pokemon hold a never-changing stone. When I gave my Pokemon an Everstone to hold, the door opened and I found Reggie Rock. Okay, that's great. We need to find the other things now. And uh, we need to actually heal up, too. So we met the Rock Giant, Smashing Job. Now keep looking for the other giants. Now, I don't think I have seen the other places. Uh, so I'm going to go get healed really quick. And then, like, we're on our way to find the other Reggies. An hour and 17 minutes in, and we caught two of the Reggies and Moltres. Like, we're good. So, yeah, that was great. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are awesome. All right, let's do this. Let's go back. That was tough, though. That was tough. Just kind of like experimenting with what moves did what damage was uh, was kind of key to that. And it doesn't help that my entire team's physical based, so whatever. Woo, boy. Okay, let's fly. Okay, so taking a look at the map, there's kind of a tell where you can tell where the ruins are at. Uh, just based off this little nook right here. You see this like little nook? This like little inlet? Like, this one has a little inlet as well. So I have a feeling that this is a little inlet right here. Three-point pass, maybe like Reg, Reg Ice. And then this is a little inlet over here as well. Uh, which is maybe, I don't know, Reggie Ice or Reggie whatever. That's kind of what I've noticed. And like, here's a little inlet as well. But I don't know how to get to these places. Roaring Sea Caves, maybe I have to go in the water. Frigid Sea, why is there a crown here? Is this the actual crown tundra? I haven't explored. So there's also that. And I don't think there's anything over here by the tree. So since I'm here, no, I'll fly over here. And then I'll just kind of go this way. Maybe go inside a cave. And then see where I come out of. I, I honestly don't know. So let's just kind of mess around and explore. It's kind of where we're at. All right, let's do it. Thanks so much for watching again. You guys are great. I hope that you guys are having a fun time with the Premier Ball Challenge. I hope you guys are actually doing the Premier Ball Challenge yourself. Feel free to tweet me some pictures at Abdala Nation uh, on Twitter of your Premier Ball caught Pokemon. And uh, I guess I can show you Reggie Rock. This guy's an actual punk. All right, so here's Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock Sonya. We got one with uh, ooh, okay, HP, attack, and speed. I mean, he's never going to use speed, but sure, whatever. Uh, check summary. He probably does have clear body. So, yeah, clear body. Uh, he's got superpower, stone edge, hammer arm, etc. Sassy nature. Like, okay. He's kind of th uh, uh, he's kind of a throwaway legendary, to be honest. I mean, in Sandstorm, he's really good. He's got mono rock typing, which is really good, especially in Sandstorm. So we're in Giant's Foot right now. Tell me about Giant's Foot. Oh, Giant's Foot. There seems to be a cave in Giant's Foot. So let's go look around over here for some sort of cave. Whoa, hey, that is huge. I'm sorry. Sorry, Bronzong. That was that was gigantic. I was not expecting that Copper Raja just to pop out like that. 
Okay, so there's some dens floating around here. Like, honestly, don't care about dens. I want to care about what's going on in this area next. This thing is another pedestal. Where are we? Dude, elephant crossing. Man, what is this? Miracle Seed, don't care about that. Literally don't know where I'm at. This is, uh, I'm in some new place, maybe? A cave? I didn't want to go in this cave. Unless it's the cave that I do want to go in. No, 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 yeah, it's Roaring Sea Caves. This is fine. So maybe there's going to be a temple inside here. Oh, a rare candy. I should give it to Gallade. I should get him to level 100 so his false swipes do a little bit more damage, huh? Alright, let's look. Oh, little Riolu! Oh, that's cute! Yo, you love Riolu! That, that, that is completely awesome. I love that. And a Lucario just chilling out here. Okay. Alright, Leech Life. Great. I don't need TRs at all. But it's a new one. That's kind of fun. Oh, Lucario, dude. Alright, so I need to find the way out of this cave. And... Stat. Little Dino? Are you kidding me? Yo, Dino, though. What? Oh, I love Dino. Hydreigon is so good. Hey, speaking of which, there's Hydreigon right there. What? Yo, this is so cool. There's an Everstone. And I think Frigid Sea? What the actual? Tortuga! Hello, Tortuga's Ninja. All right, let's go. Avalug. Oh, this is so interesting. Where are we? I mean, we're, like, out at the sea, but, like, these... Maybe the ice temple's over here somewhere. Tell me the ice temple's over here. No, it doesn't seem that way. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna... Oh, who in the... Grandma, what are you doing here? You ran away, didn't you? Over, under, over and under, Gal Galerica twigs go all around. Aha, uh -huh. until we've crafted nature's crown, the wreath of twigs is what we've found. If you give me five, we'll leave the Galerica wreath for you. You don't, I don't have, what does that mean? Ah, uh, Galerica twigs. Dang, dude. I don't have that. I don't pick up sparkly spots. I don't spend all day doing that. Maybe I should. What does she do? Galerian wreath? Is that an evolution item? You guys are going to have to tell me what you guys have figured out on that stuff. That's kind of interesting, though. Alright, so let's look around. We came from that side. And uh, the frigid sea over here is where we want to go. It's for Galarian Slowking. Is that new? Because I know we did Galarian Slowbro, but that's Galarian Slowking, huh? Three point pass, Drag Cloak. Uh, a little Dragapult. Roaring Sea Caves. Where are we? Hey, okay, so Roaring Sea Caves. Here we are. Okay, so here's the next thing. This is probably like Reggie Ellick or whatever. Alright, let me grab this junk. Outrage, that's pretty good TM. Thunder. Oh, okay, so you get an electric one and you get a dragon one. That's pretty good. There's something written on the door. A giant of rock. A giant of ice. A giant of steel. When gather the three giants, the door of destiny shall be opened. All right, all right. So we'll come back. We'll come back. We got to go find Reg Ice. But now that we know where this is at, we can, we can fly to it, I presume. Yes, you can. Three point pass can be flown to. So I need to find out where Reg Ice is, and I have a feeling that Reg Ice is gonna be like over here. So let's go find him. It's a T it's it's not a TM, it's a TR. Joseph, really? <laughs> of course. Sure, whatever. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> really? Alright, let's go. 
I'm gonna go this way, and then we're just going to go up like the northern route, and then see what's going on. So now that I've kind of located that area, we should be all set with getting uh, Reggie Steel. Uh, sorry, Reggie Reg Ice. We should be getting Reg Ice. And yeah, once we have Reg Ice, we should be all set. I just need to go the ice way right now. I hope I've uh, gone the correct way. I'm already lost now. It's just so, it's so bad that there's not like an on-screen like little marker of where you are. I honestly am probably going the wrong way, it feels. A hundred percent I'm going the wrong way because that's where that is. This is the beginning. All right, that's fine. I'll just keep on hugging the left and we should be all set. Hug it out, hug it out. What's up? Aminal? Hello. Thank you so much for your super chat. Snow slide slope. Okay. So this area, I presume, is where your Reggie Reg Ice is going to be. I don't remember seeing the, the cave anywhere. Or the ruins. I don't remember seeing it, but it should be around here. If the if the map has any kind of tell with that little indentation. There seems to be some sort of cave down there. There seems to be some sort of cave up there. Full restore, thanks. I could use it. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, looks like a big old egg. Where are we? It's gotta be over here. Like, this is not the cave that I wanna go to. Like, this is the cave that brings us all the way to the other side. So maybe we go this way, through the grass? This is where I found the Articuno. Amoris, cool. I don't know. If you guys uh, have an idea of where exactly the ice for reg ice is, let me know. And let's see how well you guys can uh, transpose your thoughts of where it is, with words, 200 words or less, into a YouTube comment, and being specific at the same time. Ready, go! Harder than the Premier Ball Challenge. Guaranteed, harder than the Premier Ball Challenge. Dragon Fang? Don't care about that. Me Tang. All right, let's find it. I don't know, I just gotta, I, I feel it's in this area here because like I, the cave just leads to the other place. I don't think it's in the cave. Dude, I just ran over a little slug. Come on, Snom, I don't have time for this. Okay, so where we cut the Articuno, uh, kind of like you can see it downwards. Oh, that's where it is. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. It was just like you couldn't see from my angle. So it appears that there's some grass down there and I've got to maybe just hug this right wall. If I hug the right wall, 
I should be all set. Of course, I can't just jump down like it's Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, man. Game Freak does not know how to make an open world game, apparently. I thought I could have sworn I was over here. Maybe I didn't explore it enough. Yeah, I absolutely did. Well, is that a Metagross? Cool. All right, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Good job. Thanks, guys. Directly underneath where Articuno was. Perfect. All right, let's get some Reg Ice. You guys ready for some ice cream? Oh, something's written on the door. Walk together with a living crystal of snow. Oh, Cryogonal? Is he new? Do I have one in my inventory? Like, uh, he's a walking crystal. He's a crystal of snow. That's exactly what that Pokemon is. All right, let's see. Cryogonal. Cryogonal. Do I not even have him registered? Where did I see him? I saw him in the beginning sections. I remember like saying, oh, cool, cryogonal, right? Like I remember seeing that or saying it. So I hope I have a warp over here because I don't really want to trek back. Okay, perfect. So I do. Snow slide slope. Uh, let's just go over here. And uh, I should be able to find a cryogonal in this area. So we're going to be able to catch one in the snow. Yes, the Jorner, man. Stone Jorner. Yo, this thing is like a block. It's like a Stonehenge. Is this guy any good? Like, do people use this Pokemon at all? Seems a little garble. Alright, let's go Cryogonal. Obama. Dude, that's all you got is Obama Snow? Come on, you're kidding. Here, Cryogonal on the grass. Ready? Oh, Jinx, Jinx, Obama. Really? Uh, who, how about here? Ice cream? Ice cream and cake? Do the ice cream and cake. Hey, 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 got him. <laughs> there he is. Wild Cryogonal. All right, let's get Cryogonal. This should be super easy. I have a Quick Ball. I, I sh should I use the Master Ball? Right, like that's what the Master Ball's for, right? Master Ball. You're kidding. Ice Beam. And Hail. Come on, man. I'm telling you, Master Ball should have been first turn, dude. One. Two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I gotta play a game. Solar Beam, what are you doing? Solar Beam. On a flying? I don't want to do a Brave Bird. That's going to be a lot. Um, I guess I'm going to U-turn out. And eat a Solar Beam? Whatever. You're faster. How are you faster? Two damage. Ooh. How in the world does this thing have Solar Beam? I was expecting to get him with a quick ball. I don't I'm not out here just trying to get like these false swipe KOs. Like I'm not looking to do that. Why would you use a master ball on that Pokemon? Is it a legend? No, I'm just absolutely being sarcastic. Yeah, yeah, sorry that went right over your head. I apologize. No, 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 no. I was joking around. Absolutely not. No. All right, let's go Ultra. He's at 1 HP. I don't even have to hypnosis him. Thank you. Okay, so we got Cryogonal. Oh, we got Cryogonal right now. I think it's a new Pokedex entry, maybe? Or maybe I just don't care about him. Oh, no, yeah, it seems new. That's cool. 
Crystallizing Pokemon. Ooh, cool. Um, it will be sent to a box. I'm going to go pick them up. We're going to go Pokemon. We're going to be... Uh, go to box. There's one Pokemon that I don't honestly need, and it's this guy. So we're going to get Cryogonal. We're going to swap him with... Uh, I don't know. Savali's kind of like useless. Uh, we're going to go Cryogonal, and he's going to be in the first section right over here. So now that we have him in first place, we should be able to go to map, fly over to where we need to go, which is right over this way, in the snow slide slope where there's a Watt Trader. Interesting. And there's a Cryogonal behind me. Look at that. He's already behind me. So let's do this. Walk together with a living crystal of snow. And done. Cryogonal's here. Excellent. Okay, so that opened the door. We are going to switch around. Uh, Corviknight, uh, we are going to swap. And Corviknight needs a little bit of healing. I can spare. Honestly, I could spare like some super potions. We got it. And Gallade's fine. Like, I'm not really going to need that. But a dead Cryagonal on the team is fine. Like, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I could use him as, like, switch fodder. Or I could use him as, like, healing fodder. But anyway, here we go. So this is going to be Red Ice. Not Reggie Ice. Which I know some of you guys like to pronounce. With a double I. No, it's just Reg Ice. Nice try. But anyway. An icy power emanating from the Pokemon statue. Uh, do you want to check it out? Yeah. You don't have to save. Jackie! know about Jackie. Okay, here's Regice. Regice, I like. I like the mono ice typing. I think it's decent. Uh, weak against rock fire fighting, like, it's it's okay. But uh, he is more of a special attacker from what I remembered. Amnesia, special defensive boost. Okay, that's great. But, um, yeah, I don't have any special attackers. So I'm going to... I'm going to Brave Bird. I'm going to see where it takes me. What's up, Royal Ben? Beautiful. Beautiful. And I think I can... I think I could do a U-turn, and then I'm good. Ready to fall swipe. Royal Ben, everyone. Welcome. Big uh, emotes in the chat for Royal Ben. Thank you so much for becoming a member today. Let's go. This shouldn't KO. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this is flawless victory. This is flawless like Lucy Lawless, the easiest time I've had in a while. I see wind slowing me down, yeah? It's not gonna do much. Speed, right? Oh, speed is, yeah, speed is kind of annoying. I don't want to be outsped by this guy, like at all. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go fall swiping, and then he's already at 1 HP. He's ready to get Premier Balled. So, let's see all of you guys that are brand new members. Let's see some Premier Balls in the chat, please, because we want this done. Zap Cannon, 100% Paralysis. Oh my gosh, that'd be terrible. Miss! And he's gonna Zap Cannon again. Oh, Ice Beam. Okay, that's special attack. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the light screen. Like, my light screen's good. Alright, welcome. Royal Ben already using the emotes. Welcome, welcome. Ice to meet you. <laughs> it's my favorite one. Alright, ice to meet you, baby. I'm gonna go Ultra Premier Ball. Yo, where's the... Where's the curve? Curve Ball, right? Like in Pokemon Go. Two, three, and I'm done! Yes! That's what I'm actually talking about. Oh my gosh, the game loves me today. Ooh yeah, baby, that's the Premier Ball Challenge. I know it's so much of a challenge. Like, trust me, it is. But uh, no, we did it. It was flawless like Lucy Lawless, man. It was so good. With cold air that can reach temperatures as low as minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Reg, reg ice. Instantly freezes any creature that approaches it. Whoa. Well, obviously I was approaching it and I didn't get frozen, so... What? Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, legendary clue. Here we go, Reg Ice. Reg Ice. Where is it? Here we go. 
Uh, walk together with a living crystal of snow. When I took a Karag and from its Pokeball and had it walk with me, the door opened and I found Regice. Okay, great. Yo, first one. Hey, Peony here. Yep, we got Regice. We do use, we do. Let's go. And then we can go chill with our Regice in our bag. And I'll show you guys what he looks like. And I'll get rid of this nasty Cryogonal. Yo, he's out of here. Trash him. Trash him. Put him over here. I gotta really organize these boxes, but anyway. Uh, Silvali, I mean, you could come back on the team. That's fine. Attaboy. All right, so here we go. We've got uh, Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, and Reg Ice. Let's check out his IVs. He has uh, best, best, best. I mean, there's three IV. That's cool. Whatever. Use some bottle caps if you want them. He's a very good guy. Like, I like Reg Ice. I think I made a, a competitive Reg Ice back in the day. His special defense, he's a special, de like, defensive sponge. He will eat all the special attacks. So give him max HP, max special defense, and switch him in when you know a, a special move's coming. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, I like him a lot. Him and Reggie Steel. And you know what? Like, all the Reggies are good. I think they're all actually good. Because, like, you just have to know how to use them. Reg Rock, you would use in Sandstorm. Reg Steel, just bulk him up as a physical um, physical wall. Uh, Reg Ice as a special wall. So let's go back to our other place over here and see what kind of Reggie nonsense we can get with Reggie Drago. Um, and Reggie... Oh, dude, my camera's about to die. Oh, my gosh. Really? I'm going to turn this off. My camera's been on all day for this, so... Let me turn off my cam for a little bit, and we'll go from there. Man, I gotta charge that thing. Give me two seconds. Dude, I've been streaming so long that my camera's about to die. All right, no worries. We're good, we're good. You guys know what I look like, so we're fine. Let me go to this flying taxi and see what's up. Okay, so I should actually heal first. But no, I mean, like, this is a good time to stop, honestly. If you guys are cool with it, I could honestly stop right over here and see what's... Um... And we could do Reggie Drago and Reggie, um, Reggie Drago and like Reggie Ellick, whatever their names are. And I think we could do that on the next episode. What do you guys think? And then that'll give me time for my camera to charge a little bit here. So let's see, Pokemon, Pokemon, uh, Corviknight, Gallade, Urshifu, like we're looking pretty good. And then we caught all three Reggies, so let's go get Reggie Drago and then see what's going on with the rest of this. I think we should be all set, so. It's a good plan. So, guys, I think we're set. I'm gonna go make episode four ready for you guys right now, so let's go take a look at it together. Uh, we can take a look over here on the full screen, and that is my no signal um, camera over here, so let me get rid of that really quick. All right, so head on over. Here's the main channel page. Let's go take a look at episode four, uh, which is available here. And I think it should be public. Maybe it is, maybe it is not. Oh yeah, it says live in two hours. No, it won't be in two hours. It'll be in like a little bit less. So if you give me about, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes to just kind of go get another cup of coffee. We can go hang out. Here's a link and you guys are all set. So here we go, join up here. So there's the link. Uh, let's actually start uh, streaming all these people in here for part four. So Ash is already here. Ash is one of the first ones. Double X Legion is here. Thank you. I think I'm gonna get like a good half an hour. Uh, like a good half an hour of just kind of letting this little camera charge and we should be all set and ready to go for it. So hello everyone. You guys are all scrolling in now. Hello, let me zoom in a little bit more so you can get see all yourselves. Uh, it's good to see you guys, and thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I know that um, I know that you guys are like really, really big on Pokemon, which is awesome. I'll turn on my camera for this last part. It might as well die, so like I can care less. All right, webcam only. Here we go. Yep, yep, we're good. Yes, we are good. Okay. So anyway, uh, thanks again. Thanks again for hanging out. Um, all of you guys, team man. Like I see a lot of like familiar faces that have been along the entire way, the entire time. So thank you. It's currently like three in the morning right now, and I still have like a lot of energy in me. So I'm very excited to see where this goes. Um, anyway, uh, Hyder's here, Joshi, Nero, 2050's in the house, Val Lee, thank you. Uh, who else is here? Uh, yeah, who else is here? Double X, Nero's in the house, uh, Jesus, we got Sniper Hunter, Milk T, good to see you, K's here, Royal Ben, our brand new member, thank you. Uh, Springy's always hanging out. Ash, all of you guys, thank you for being here. I gotta go get some coffee, right? We gotta go do it. 
I think I got my last sip right over here. Hmm. That's my last sip. So I gotta go get another cup, and then I'm just gonna go take a little stretch break. I mean, I might go take a five minute nap. I might oversleep. You guys are gonna wake it, wait for me in the live stream and it's never gonna start. No, I'm kidding, that'll never happen. I'm on this uh, this adrenaline rush because we are getting these legendaries. So let's go get Reggie Drago. Uh, we'll go Reggie Ellick or whatever his name is. And then we'll see exactly what happens to the end of the DLC. Like, is that it? Is that all three of the things? Do we get something special for the end? Like, what's the deal? And we will find that out very, very soon, okay? So, that being said, join us here for the next part, right? Good, good. All right, you guys know what to do. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's live stream. Uh, be sure to play along with. The game is super fun. I enjoyed collecting all of the Reggie Trio. And then we got Moltres, and it was just overall a great time. So, make sure you guys are all subscribed. Turn on notifications when, so you guys know when we go live. And uh, consider becoming a member, just like uh, Royal Ben over here. And all of these awesome people in the Superstar tier and the VIP tier. So, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one way before you know it. Uh, I will adjust the time on it. It says, like, ready in two hours, but, like, I can adjust that right now. So, let me do that. Before I let you go, I'm going to adjust it so you guys can chill for a little bit. Um, I will just, it's definitely not in two hours. So, what time is it? 321? Give me like 345, man. Like, I think like a good 20 minutes should be perfect. So, I see a lot of you guys, a hundred of you guys head on over to that little live stream. So, that's great. That's 345 right now. 345? It's a good 25 minutes. Give me a little bit of shut eye. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to sleep or else I'm going to be done for the night. No, no, no. All right. So we're all set. We are 100% all set. Make sure that you guys are on board with it. Join us. It's going to be super fun. I can't wait to have you. And uh, I just really, really want to continue on with this game. It's just so much fun. So yeah, do it. Right. Yeah, here we go. 3.45 a.m. Look at this. Look at this. 3.45 a.m. What a concept. 10.23, 3.45 a.m. We're going. So, join us. And it should say in 22 minutes. Yes. Give me 22 minutes and we'll be all set. But, uh, yeah, anyway. All right. So, officially, this is the end. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. And uh, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.